Keep it going for Kawana, everybody. And let's make some noise for your next competitor. Everybody give it up for Matt Hurley. What's up, Goobies? How are you guys doing? Give it up, give it up for Matt and all the other competitors you've seen tonight so far. It's been a great show so far. Now I'm buttering you guys up because I'm looking for a new weed dealer. Does anyone have any suggestions on how to find a new weed dealer? Anyone have any suggestions? Do you have any suggestions? Anyone, anyone? Go to a dispensary, that's one, that's one. All right, so, so I went to a CVS today for two hours and I hung out in the eye drop section. That's what I chose to do. Didn't find any drug dealers, just people with a lot of itchy eyes. I guess that's a thing. All right, Google Chrome. Internet Explorer, Safari, Firefox, and now Oprah. That's right, you guys, Oprah Winfrey officially has her own web browser. Clap it up for Oprah. <laughs> guys, I love Oprah so much. My whole life, any show, any documentary that's been on Oprah, I've watched it. And now that there's an internet browser, I can officially watch porn on Oprah. <laughs> This whole fucking time, I thought it was just Oprah Winfrey. But it's 2022, motherfucker, and now you can win free shit on Oprah. Woo! I got five minutes on Oprah, dude, so loosen up, guys, loosen up. I'm, I'm just kidding. For real, I love Oprah, dude. I love Oprah. Like, it's, I kind of am ashamed to admit it, but I wouldn't mind browsing Oprah's privates. <laughs> At least I can use the private browser on Oprah. All right, I think we've reached all the Oprah jokes. I think we're done. I think we're done. I'm just kidding. You get a car, you get a car, you get a car. There are car keys underneath all your chairs, but I did put my car keys under one of your chairs. If you find my car's keys, congratulations. You have to drop my car after this. All right, we've reached the advice part of the show. We've reached the advice part. If you're ever in a situation to make a wish, make sure you're specific. It could cost you. I was cleaning a vase the other day, and poof, a genie appeared. The genie said, thank you for setting me free. I'll grant you one wish. And I said, without thinking specifically, genie, I would like a haircut and a blowjob at the same time. The genie said, your wish is my command. Now a haircut is great, and a blowjob is great, but one person giving you a haircut and a blowjob at the same time is dangerous. It's not smart, dude. That wasn't the worst part. This was a dyslexic hooker barber. So she sucked my hair and she cut my dick off. Hell yeah. A happy halfway to Christmas, my sugar plums. Today's officially halfway to Christmas. You know that, sir? That's because it's not, dude. But there's like a three week window that you can do that joke that everyone's like, is it fucking, is it halfway to, and it's not halfway to Christmas. And that's okay, because I don't like Christmas that much. And here's the story. In the winter of 2016, I worked at a Lids in a mall in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Now I worked at this Lids for several reasons. The first one being, if you know anything about lids, by 2016, you know, no one was going into lids anymore, <laughs> right? The only people going into lids were like a couple where the husband or the, the boyfriend, no, the girlfriend wants the boyfriend to get her name tattooed on him. And he's like, hey, how about a custom hat instead? So I did it because it was slow and I could work on my graduate degree. So I would go there every day, I'd open my laptop and I'd work on my graduate shit. And one day it was particularly snowy. So I did what any good part-time LIDS employee would do in that situation. I took two tabs of acid before work. <laughs> and it was two tabs too much. Because when I came out of it, I had lost my laptop. And this was back in 2016. I didn't have my thesis backed up anywhere. This is back when clouds were just in the fucking sky. So I looked high, I looked low, well I looked all high, and I couldn't find my laptop. So I walked outside the mall, it was snowing, it's late at night, in the parking lot, and from behind me, I hear ch -ch 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 jingle bells. 
So I turn around and it's this greasy old mall Santa. And out of his dusty red bag, he pulls my laptop and says, looking for this? And I said, why yes, why yes, I'm looking for that. He's like, it's gonna cost you. And I said, well, I'll pay anything. And he just looks right at me and says, not money. And right then and there, I knew I was gonna have to suck the small Santa off. So I did what any good part-time Blitz employee would do in that situation. I breathed in, I breathed out, and I hit my knees on the ground. And the mall Santa said, ho, oh, not here. We're in a parking lot. Let's go in the changing room in Coles. I said, that's fucking ironic because that's what you deserve in your stocking this year. Cole. So, that's what I'm saying. All right, all right, a couple quick ones here before I leave. Obviously, my experiences as a novice comedian can only be mirrored by the experiences of a novice Craigslist prostitute. I only suck for now. Walking fascinates me. Speed walking, normal walking, cross walking. Speaking of crosswalking, sir, do you know who invented the original crosswalk? Like, who made the original crosswalk? All right, Jesus Christ. My name's Matt Early. Give it up for Matt. Matt Early, everybody. That's the highest energy you'll see not propelled by cocaine. <laughs> Believe it or not, he is not on cocaine. That is... You guys don't find that crazy? Every 